Ladies and gentlemen, as the queen of all that is GMRS and very soon to be the king of hams radios, I get asked a lot of questions. And sometimes those questions are actually about GMRS or hams radios. So in this video, I'm going to share my number one tip for configuring and programming either a hams radios or a GMRS radio. And I promise that my tip will help to make your radio dork lifestyle a more pleasant experience. As a member of the GMRS or HAMS radios community, you are probably already aware that setting up or programming a HAMS radios or a GMRS radio can be a daunting task, especially if you want to program multiple repeaters, add multiple custom channels to your radio, or most challenging of all, if you are just Stupid. So lay back and relax and let me share with you my number one tip to make your radio dork lifestyle easier to accept. And don't worry, I promise it will just be my tip. And fear not because my tip is not very big, so you should be able to take it in pretty easily. Are you ready for my tip? When programming or configuring your radio, whether it be a hams radio, such as this Bufwang UV5R, a Wuxin Ocean GMRS radio, or pretty much any cheap Chinese radio, you should always use the free Chirp software or the software made for your Pacific radio by the manufacturer if your radio is not Chirp compatible. Basically, the tip is always use the software to program your radio. Now, it is true that many times in the past I have decreed that real men program their radios the old-fashioned way by hand right on the keypad. But verily I say unto you that smart men use the software and a computer to program their radios. The difference between the Chirp software and most software made by the manufacturer is that the Chirp software works with hundreds of radios, whereas the vendor or manufacturer software usually, generally, most of the time on average, only works with one Pacific model radio. So if you have three different model radios, you would need to either download and use three different programs to program each radio, or you could just use the Chirp software if all three of those radios are Chirp compatible. And many times using the software will allow you to do more things to your radio than you could do on the radio itself. For example, the only way to get a custom channel name to show on the screen of a Bufwang UV5R is to add that custom name using the Chirp software. Allow me to demonstrate. Let's say that I want to add a custom channel to listen to on a Bufwang UV5R. To do so, I would have to switch to VFO mode, type in the frequency, press the menu button, go to the memory channel setting, hit the menu button again, select the channel, and oh, by the way, if that channel number is already in use, and has something stored on it, I would have to go to another menu setting first and clear out that channel. It is a pain in the bitch. Or let's say you want to create a fancy new repeater channel on your fancy new UV 5G plus radio. First, you have to go into some menu. I don't even remember which menu. You have to go through the menus to find whatever menu you want to go on. I don't even remember how to do it. However, using the free Chirp software is a much more pleasant experience. Just connect your radio to the computer, open up the Chirp software, and download whatever is already in your radio into your computer. Allow me to point out that at this point, it is a good idea to save all of your settings in a file before you screw up your radio. That way, if you mess things up, you can just load that file that you saved Think of it as a backup file. You can load that file back into your radio to unscrew it. Then simply easily and intuitively scroll through the channels to see what programming is already there and then either edit an existing channel or create a new channel by just typing in the infos. Then you simply save it back to your radio and you are done. Changing the radio settings and configuration is also much easier using the free Chirp software. Just click on the Settings tab and easily and intuitively read through all of the different settings that are available for you to mess up 
and start blindly clicking on things. Then when you're all done, just save it all back into the radio. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? I'll bet you probably even enjoyed it. And you'll probably even want to do it again someday. <laughs>